Good morning, shifters. Uh, Jen coming at you today on Fun Friday. If you haven't seen the post yet, um, and uh, you're either on Team Shift or Team Progress, a bonus challenge went out today. And uh, please wear your sports shirt, whatever sports shirt it is, or jersey, and uh, your team will also get an extra point. So I've seen a lot of progress this week regarding the workbooks and the videos, and I want, we all know that's really where the work lies at the end of the day. And so I've been contemplating a lot my, on my own about courage as well. And, and I'd like to say that, you know, I've definitely had my moments of defeat and, and moments where I didn't feel very courageous, but it's one of the things that I strive to do every day. Um, a, a lot of you have also heard about my dad. Um, he was an extremely courageous man. A uh, political prisoner in Cuba for 12 years, went through a lot of stuff, but yet had the most positive attitude of any individual I've ever known in my life. And I think that took a lot of courage. Now, share, I, I want to share a quote with you today. Uh, I came across Brene, Brene Brown, if many of you or some of you might have heard about her. Uh, she did a tech talk back in 2010, I believe. Uh, and became pretty infamous. Uh, she is a social worker with a podcast, a lot of influence in society's great books, etc. And in one of her books, she features something uh, that I actually used to carry around when I used to sell books. And I'm going to read you the quote, and then I'm going to kind of give you my thoughts around it. But as you're going through this week, as you're going through life, as you're going through hard moments, and as I have as well, he here's a quote that's really kept me uh, grounded through a lot of that difficulty. Um, it's called The Man in, Arena, in the Arena, and if y'all are into sports, you might have heard recently that Michael Jordan, this one's a, a little bit older, but also now Tom Brady has a documentary called The Man in the Arena, and here's how it goes. It's not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the other, or how the strong man stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who's actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming. But who does actually strive to do the deeds? Who knows great enthusiasm, the great devotions, who spends themselves in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails, while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls, who neither know victory nor defeat. And again, that quote really speaks to me through, you know, moments that I've had to show courage. Um, and that's a topic for this week. And, you know, to kind of piece it out together, a couple of things that really um, jump out at me regarding that is the power of taking action. And we've talked a lot about that recently. Not action necessarily macro counting, but action in the inner stuff that's sometimes very hard to do, right? Those questions in the workbook, the videos that you're watching, uh, situations in life um, where we just have to show up valiant, valiantly. Um, so that's really what speaks to me. But to kind of you know break it down a bit, I think each of us might have had some doubters along this process. I know I have. Um, folks who kind of st stand on the side who may be my worst critic and I think sometimes also those work worst critics are within ourselves, right? So how many times is it so easy for us to give a compliment to somebody else for their running speed or something they've achieved in their career or some, you know, thing that they've done, some goal that they've met over the course of their day or their life or their week? But yet if we do that same goal, right, if we accomplish that same goal of running or that same career aspiration or whatever it is, we are often our worst critic. And the, the credit does not belong to that critic, whether that is somebody outside of us or whether that's somebody within us. The credit does not belong to the critic or the bystander. So please think about those moments where you are your worst critic in your life, regardless of what it is. I know I can be, um, and some of you think I'm extremely positive and motivational, but at the end of the day, I've got my own baggage. We all do, right? So the credit does not belong to that person inside of us. The credit does not belong to that individual outside of us who is saying that we can't or is doubting what we do. But part of this is also, for some of us, we've taken the path of least resistance. And regardless of what aspect of our life that might have been in, um, you know, we'll talk about health and nutrition here because that's, I think, a lot of us, what the journey we're on uh, together. Um, but it's not about the cho choosing the path of least resistance. Usually there's not any glory in that. And sometimes we do that because we're our own worst critic. 
So my question to you again is, are you taking the path of least resistance? For many of you, I know the answer is no. You've gotten really uncomfortable this week. Um, so again, don't be your worst critic. Don't let any others also be your worst critic. Have enough acceptance and confidence in yourself to know that you can overcome, right? So that's the first part of that quote that really speaks to me. Now, the next part of the quote that really speaks to me is the credit belongs to the man who's actually, actually in the arena whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, and who strives valiantly. So yeah, we all know it's not about perfection. It's about progress. We're going to make mistakes. There's things we're not going to understand. There's days that are going to be harder than others. There's days that we might want to make choices that move us against, you know, away from our goals instead of towards our goals. But it's the person who strives valiantly, who shows up every day, who gives it everything they've got, right? And again, this is why I love community so much because I can't tell you how many times I've been to Orange Sherry and I've thought oh man here goes another workout and oh man I don't know if I can do that and then I show up next to that person who for some odd reason I get some energy and they're able to pump me up right so when you're striving valiantly don't think you're alone in that you've got us you've got you've got a great uh, community whether it's a shifter community whether it's an Orange Sherry community whether it's your CrossFit community, any other workout community, right? And you've got your people who, who also have your back. So again, striving valiantly, and that's sh showing up and acting and taking those steps to help us achieve our goals. So again, the, sh the shifts, whether it's food, exercise, workbook, reflecting, meditation, wh whatever it is. And again, for that one is what is getting in your way? Um, we know there's stuff that gets in our way, right? Some of that stuff boils right down to being our own worst critic. So Let's continue to strive valiantly every single day. Other part of that quote, again, speaks to us so greatly. There is no effort without error. We know it's not going to be a perfect journey, right? So give yourself some grace. And that's my word for 2022. I am trying to encapsulate as much grace as I possibly can. So we've shown up. We're not our worst critic. We have told the doubters where they can go. <laughs> and now it's time to put in the work but also to have some grace within it, right? We all know that failure teaches us. Um, we probably can think of multiple situations in our lives where maybe things were not going as we wanted them to, but we probably got the biggest gold nugget or the biggest teaching or the biggest inspiration from that, right? So we know that there is so much glory in failure. And, and one of the things, you know, I think um, I, I've come to kind of the realization of, but um, I'm trying to also share with others is the weight room floor can be super tough. And I think usually when we go on that, we think, okay, what's our limit, right? So I'm going to do 10 bicep curls. I'm going to go to the safe weight. My safe weight might be 10 pounds, might be 12 pounds, might be 15, right? But am I looking to stay status quo or am I looking to build on that? And usually what happens on the weight room floor when we're looking to build on that is that we will have failure. That is the point that we're actually striving for. Take that, you know, weight that's five pounds heavier, maybe it's 10 reps and do five of those. What if you have to put it down and pick up the other one? What does it matter, right? You did 10, five reps of a heavier weight than you expected to do. And I call that courage. And I call that showing up and I call that taking action. So it's okay to fail. We've all failed, right? That's really part of the reason why, you know, we are as strong as we are. It's because of what we've learned. Again, part of that about effort without error, it, it's not about the highlight reel. It is not about the win or the results. It's about putting in the effort each and every single day. And yes, some days are going to be harder than others. And yes, that is okay. And that is normal. And that's why you've got us and you've got yourselves. Um, we often say this, everything you need to know, everything you need is within you, right? And part of us, our goal here is to show you that within yourselves. So share a little bit about my courage this week. I've been a worst critic of meditation for as long as I can tell you. Um, I've always thought, as you can probably imagine, I'm a very type A person. I've always thought, oh, that's not for me. That's for somebody else. They probably need it. I don't. I can survive without it. I'm going to be fine. And I've had a lot of friends over the last couple of years who have said, Jen, maybe it'd be helpful to meditate. And I thought, what? Not for me. I didn't have the courage to actually sit within the moment to understand that things can slow down and they should for many of us and that it is absolutely okay. So now I think for the last eight days, um, about six of those eight days, I have started off with a morning meditation. 
And that's taken courage and uncomfortability and just putting myself in a situation where um, sometimes I don't want to hear. <laughs> but um, that's why I've shown up with courage this week. It's something I plan to continue to do. And it's funny, when I tried something new, um, I feel like I live life differently. And that's really what I think each of us wants to do in this. It's not about, at the end of the day, saying you lost 30 pounds. It's about going through the journey. It's about having the blood and sweat and tears and striving valiantly. So I'm gonna leave you today with the ultimate question, which is, what will you dare to do? I'll see you later, shifters. Hope you're having a great week.